Hello everyone, welcome to your August 2019 reading. Before I begin, read your sign. I want to announce this month is the Gilded Tarot, Gilded Tarot deck to give away, okay? So if you want to enter the competition, all you need to do is to leave me a comment and I will choose the winners from the comment section. For personal readings, you have my website and in the description box below, you can find my email address as well if you have any questions about what reading is best for your situation okay you can email me and then go to the website okay so thank you so much everyone for your likes shares and subscribes and let's now begin with your reading Sagittarius welcome to your reading Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs August 2019 Sagittarius August 2019, Sagittarius. Angel of Time. Important end to a new beginning. So some of you, it's time for you to have a new beginning in your life, put an end to a situation, a wonderful idea, aha moment. So you're going to um, working too hard. Okay, so especially in work, you're going to have like a business idea, some of you, you know, you, you uh, will start a new uh, business or have a solution to a, a situation that is... Um, it feels that I do see the time is running out. Maybe a contract is running out, or um, there has been a long time. Yes. So the change of energy after the eclipse, a powerful energy shift. So the eclipse that we had in July causes this. Everyone had this. Um, end and new beginning so you're really closing a chapter and you're going to uh, know especially from now till October Halloween you're gonna know where you're going and it's um, it's the time is okay timing is Halloween from now till Halloween there is a, uh, a shift here there is a shift and it feels like if you put in the work if it's in, in a job or a relationship, if you put in the work, you will receive greatness. That's what it's telling you. Okay. So the seven of air, seven of swords being, um, you know, this is overthinking. But I think that you have a lot on your mind that you need to start writing down things maybe uh, you're getting insights in your dreams and you need to do... Uh, to start a, a journal, okay, journaling, Queen of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so they may be uh, causing you some stress, this uh, water sign, okay, it could be emotional as well for you, the page of water is crowning this reading, Maybe you're thinking about apologizing or wanting a um, wanting to send a message. The star came out in the reverse. I feel that it will be healing, okay? But you need it. You need to give it time. I think if you want to heal a relationship, you really need to give it some time, and it could be up till Halloween, okay? So in the past, someone didn't take things, um, well, they took things too lightly, all right, so the fool is a carefree attitude, you didn't um, take care of this um, relationship or this person maybe um, traveling a lot, you may have a Aquarius coming in as well, but there's a lot of, you see the nine and the seven of air, there's a lot of anxiety over um, 
I think you do need to relax and have and be ready emotionally for someone new um, if you want to start something new because you do have someone interested in you, Sagittarius, but I think there's fears around this situation. There is fears uh, and you could have... You could have met your soulmates or someone that really made you feel that they were right for you. And then everything shifted. Yeah, eight of air. Wow. So much stress and anxiety. Feeling trapped. But you have to be strong. Some of you, you really need to... Um, release this stress somehow with a hobby, with yoga, with meditation and really believe and trust the time, trust timing here, strength card and the will of fortune. So you need to be strong and work on yourself as well. It's telling you to work on yourself. There is, um, there is someone coming, coming back around, could be a Leo coming back around and um, ten of fire. So there is um, a feeling of emotionally having to delete, you know, delete, delete the memories, uh, erase the memories, burn the pictures. That's what she's doing here. But the ten of fire is putting an end to this struggle. Okay, and you definitely needing to heal yourself, heal and be around water. I'm sensing here you have to be around water. Maybe do travel and go and, you know, just go for a swim in the ocean, in the sea. Outcome, the, fi the four of fire with the magician. So you can manifest a relationship here and stability. Maybe you're looking for a home, trying to manifest a home and it's going to come in. But you need to be ready, like with the magician here. Some of you, you know, you've done the work already. You, you, you're strong now. You're strong spiritually. But I do see a lot of fears and anxiety still. Some of you, you didn't do the work. And from now till October, you've got this, um, the, a chance to, to make it right, okay? To uh, attract, manifest what you want. So, especially if it's a home, a relationship, some of you want a, a Aries. Or the six and love someone from your past, okay? I do have the Bring Back X reading on my website. Some of you might want to do that. And as of you, you know, this person will come back around strong, feeling stronger and ready for a relationship. So don't stress. Don't stress. It's part of their healing. It's part of your healing. It's part of the, the journey here. Seven of air and the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius. August. Yeah, there's some delays here. There is some delays with the Four of Swords in communication and taking time, okay? Recovery with delays here. So, um, he's also telling you to hold back on... Um, it, may, it may be hurting you not hearing from someone or not being able... Or this person is really hurting because they don't hear from you. Let's see what the star is. Uh, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with a Queen of Swords. Sagittarius. August. Near future. Wow. Okay. So no more waiting. There, there's going to be healing. Okay. There's going to be healing. And um, the Knight of Cups is that offer of love. But I think that with the Magician, you need to really be ready for it. Okay, and because manifestation is reversed. So you could do it with uh, working on yourself, doing your affirmations and 
being ready to attract what you want and go for it. Go for it. Uh, the night of the night of cups is also opening up emotionally and uh, after introspection or seeing things from a different perspective with the hangman upright is an awakening. Okay? You awakening and healing. Also you may realize that this is the one and is going to be too late and now you can't manifest them but you need to give it time because you know let it fly if it comes back it's yours page of water Sagittarius some of you have some type of um, energy blockage could be even someone doing spell spell work here that is causing the delays What's this magician reversed? Or just a, a manipulative person, okay? Yeah. There's a need for forgiveness to have this happy ever after. The Ten of Swords as well, getting out of that uh, deception. The world card is reversed, so things are not... Um, you, haven't, you haven't come full circle with this. There could be still some some people manipulating the situation. There could be still, um, you know, this spell work that someone has done still effective. But I, I see it at the end of this, especially at the end of this month or up till October, you will be free from that. There is, um, because of the eclipse, someone must, must have done some spell work. Okay, so do use, um, that's why you need to go near sea, so it's telling you to have a spiritual bath, and ne going near sea and meditating and recovering is really allowing this energy to get out of uh, your system, basically, to get out of your aura, to get out, and the ocean is, has, uh, you know, it's nature, and you can do uh, spiritual bath, but with the salt, with salt, salt bath, which you, it, it could be, uh, you know, it cleanses your energy, and you could do some prayers and affirmations to, you know, get rid of this that is holding, holding you back. This energy. So on your mind, you want to really have a date with this person or. Um, you're thinking about someone, you know, getting over the, this ex with going, going party, meeting someone new. Yeah, I do see that uh, crowning this. You will receive a message, especially from an Aquarius. Some of you dealing with an Aquarius, or a message of healing. That you know, a message from the one. A message from someone that you really want to go on on a date with, that you really want to reconcile, and you could just go for a drink, and it could be just the start of healing. Yeah. So nine of air. This you're feeling like um, things are not going in your favor. Okay, you're being attacked somehow. Could be. Um, you, you could be uh, spiritually being attacked so do get your uh, you know a crystal to protect you and do your do the work okay also white sage clean your environment page of swords there's a strong air energy here It is looking like it's coming back around. Some of you really didn't didn't look after this this situation properly, or this person, this relationship didn't value it, and now it's coming back around. You're feeling the way that they felt, you know, sneaky behavior could have could have been there, and now it's karma. It's coming back around. Yeah, it's telling me what goes around comes back around. So you're having 
um, a taste of that or this person that you're involved with is like a lesson to them. Strength. Yeah, King of Swords, Energy, Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you could be too proud to speak up or they are, okay, there's a lot of pride that you, you know, they could be very uh, busy, popular and proud to speak with you. Yeah, so you've got the thought of ones reversed in your emotions. So you're not seeing stability, but look, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, some of you, it's um, an offer of love here. Someone manifesting this person back into your life, realizing that they are the one. They're going to speak about how they feel. Okay, someone that has disappeared, could be a Cancer. Leo, Sag, Aries also, yeah. Making a decision to work things out. Could be juggling money to move in together as well. Trying to move in together. Saving for, for that, for that home, for that car. Sagittarius. Getting over... Um, So some of you, you even got divorced or about to get divorced or just a, someone that didn't really commit and moving on, trying to move on and then suddenly your ship's coming back in, this person comes back in and um, you get rid of the third person. But um, there is still, yeah, there's second chance there's a second chance. I do see there's a, another person involved for some of you. There's a third party situation. The devil card is a Capricorn that's doing this. So it's a Capricorn female here. I mean, options. Okay. So it could be an Aries as well that ha keeps his options open or her options open. Aries, Capricorn, and but the, the karma is here, you see, and and I'm sensing some of you, you really gonna make them feel how they they made you feel. Okay, you're gonna give them the cold shoulder. You're gonna say, okay, now you come back, but now I moved on, so now my ships are coming in. But you're gonna feel happy that they come back. Okay. Some of you, it's that. And you also have you know, trying to uh, manifesting a stable relationship, feeling feeling the love, okay? Even if there was pain in the past, you're gonna forget about it because in the end of the day you were not some of you the ones that were not married, you were not together, you were not fully committed to each other, you know, things were not the way they should have been, or, you know, you couldn't make it right, so you're going to give it another chance. Sagittarius, August, separation. worth waiting for, religious factors, so you're on a different path, so this person has to go their own way, or you have to choose a different path to this person for a while, this separation doesn't need to be forever, it's worth waiting for, divine timing, 
um, some of you are dealing with someone that is married and uh, has moved on with you without getting divorced. Pay attention to the red flags. Let your friends help you. So like a friendship here. Make the effort because the chemistry is strong. Get to know each other. Okay. So it's like give them a chance. Give this relationship a chance. New love. And um, you believe that you deserve love here. Live more in a moment. Okay, it's about living in a moment. So this person is living in a moment, but it's very early days, okay, for some of you. It's very early days. They are, they are going to separate some. Um, at some point, divine timing is there. So they will separate at some point if you're waiting for someone to get divorced to stay with you. Okay, so Sagittarius, August. Fun times, karma, you see? And it's reversed, it's not very good karma. So one of you took it for granted, okay, the fair mouth, true gem, the ice queen gave him the cold shoulder, spiritual growth so he can grow, staying friends, you may stay friends, the Ice King, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, coming in, new love, short term, quickly coming in, someone quickly coming in, but there is some fears and a controlling energy with that Emperor, some controlling energy, okay, they may not communicate all the time, so they probably just want a short term relationship. Okay, it's a twin flame. They have children. Or is someone you have children with. Ooh. But they're in an open relationship with this mature woman. Or you are the mature woman and you're looking for a relationship. And uh, there is new love coming in. But there is, um, the control is the the situation overall, the family, the children, you feel controlled. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much, and I hope it helps somehow. Thank you, bye-bye.